In this video, we're going to perform the looping function as we upload data from an Excel spreadsheet into SAP utilizing Process Runner. Here's the data from my Excel spreadsheet. You can see that I have four purchase orders and each of them has two or more lines of data and a blank line separates each of the purchase orders. Go ahead and bring up Process Runner Put in my new transaction code, VA01, create sales order. I'll start recording my SAP screens. First, we have the SAP logon. Now I need to uh, enter data. We have order type, OR, sales organization, 1000 distribution channel 12 division 00, zero. so I'm done with this view hit enter to go to my next view sold to party 2200 which is the same as my ship to party 2200 so PO number DG1979128 actually want dash two and my purchase order date 1104-2014 go ahead and hit enter there and now I need to go to these screens down here, the, actually the fields down here to fill in my material M-05 order quantity of two hit enter. SAP will automatically uh, push that to the first line and I have completed my recording of my SAP transactions and process runner. Now I need to link my Excel data file and I also have to make sure that I get the proper sheet name. You can see down here that it's actually VA01 instead of sheet one, I'm just going to change that to VA01 go ahead and hit OK now we're going to map map the fields we have a sales organization let's go back up here sales document type is column A sales organization column B distribution channel column C division column D customer purchase order number column E our sold to party is actually should be column F let's change that so I have customer purchase order number of E customer purchase order date should have been G sold to party is F and the ship to party is F and let's map our material number and cumulative order quantity should be H and I and now we want to loop our data so our loop is going to begin on this screen here so I'm going to click on this box bring a drop down of start loop and I just need to make sure that my loop finishes in the proper place which is here and now also I need to set my blocks so my blocks are separated uh, by blank cell in the column and that was in column H. Bring that Excel worksheet up for you so you can see that. So we have uh, the columns are separated by blank lines under column H. So I've chosen again, I've chosen the, the blank cell in the column and that's column H. And let's go to our home screen. 
where we're going to I'm going to go ahead and run run this entire sheet if I wanted to I could do a test run or an error processing run but I'm pretty confident that this is going to run properly and you can see that the orders have been saved let's go ahead and, and view this one here so we have uh, standard order 11.853 go ahead and bring up my SAP screen alright and we want to view sales order view 3 and let's get our order number so we have standard order 11 851 purchase order number and we're going to look at that uh, middle one DG-1970 1970128-3 sold to party is 2200 and let's go ahead and bring that up and you can see here that we had uh, material number M5 was four pieces material number six was six pieces uh, material seven seven pieces material eight eight pieces etc etc so we've uploaded our data into SAP performing the looping process Please uh, continue to watch more videos in our Process Runner series to learn more about the capabilities of Process Runner. Thank you.